On the count of three, you're gonna hear John's voice for the next act or two, and you're gonna do whatever John tells you to do. John's a hypnotist for the next two acts, you're gonna do what he tells you to do. On the count of three, you're gonna hear John's voice. One, two, three. Everyone, on the count of three, everyone on the count of three, when you hear my voice, count to three, you realize you guys are aliens. And Area 51 and the FBI and police, they're here, they're in the audience, they're trying to find you. The moment I count to three and say, eyes on my way, you're gonna scurry back to your seat, you're gonna try to hide under your seats. Hide under your seats. I'm gonna one, two, three, eyes up, one away, guys, they're here, they're here. Guys, eyes up, one away, guys, open, eyes up, they're here, here, hide, hide. You got 30 seconds to hide, you have 30 seconds to hide, go. Make it, make it convincing, make it convincing. Make sure you get your heads lower to the ground, lower to the ground. Lower your heads down to the ground, less likely it is there to see you. Close your eyes, if you can't see them, they can't see you. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Put your hands over your eyes, that's right. Put your hands over your eyes. Hello, this is Nick from Area 51. I'm with the FBI. I heard there are aliens here. We're here to take them off the premises. We apologize to the public, the audience. You are not meant to see this secret. If you feel a tap on your right shoulder, you know I've found you. If you run away, you will be detained for the rest of your life. You'll never see your family again. You will stand up and you will face your peers in the audience. Now, stand up. Face your peers up there. I see you. Open your eyes. Stand up here. If you want to see your family again? Stand up there. Open your eyes. I see you. Stand up there. Be quick. Only a few seconds. Stand up there quick, get up there quick. We need you each one shot, one opportunity to explain to me why I shouldn't take you back. If it works, I'll let you see your family again and I'll let you go free into this man's custody. This is the man you want to be with. If your reason isn't good enough, we're taking you back to, I will take you back to Area 51. You'll never see any of these people in your family again. So tell me, why should I allow you to this man's custody? Because you're a good person? What have you done that's good? Everything you do in one specific instance. Help people what? Help people? Do you think that's good? He helped people? By round of applause, should he go back? He can go back. She looks like she's seen a ghost. Why should I allow you back into his custody? I guess I'm a funny person, I'm a nice person. You're a funny, nice person? Do we like funny, nice people? Do we like funny, nice people? We got lucky. We go back. Why should I allow you back to his custody? I'm young. <laughs> I'm young. Why should I allow you back to his custody? I think they approve of that alone. You can go back. Why should I allow you back to his custody? I'm sure they love you too, but they need a bigger reason than that. Everyone loves their family. Okay. There's a little girl that needs you. Who here? Is there anyone here that you think might know you? No? No? No one here? You don't know anyone here? Do you know me? 
you know him? You don't know anyone, do you? You don't know who you are, do you? How old are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Don't forget that. Where are you from? You don't know? This man has that. I'm going to take you in. I'm going to let him help you recover your memory first. Go that. Go back to that man. Good. Listen, where are you from? Think again. You don't know who's with her. Nobody's with you? Oh, you guys. Where is she from? Indiana? Where are you from? You don't know? Sleep. All the way down. All the way down. Give him a hand, folks. We're closing at John's going to do the one last thing, and then we'll be out of your way. Thank you so much, Dr. Young. On the count of three, on the count of three, and when I say wake up, everyone on stage and in the pit will open their eyes. When you open your eyes, you'll be utterly, completely convinced hypnosis is fake. You're, you're going to think I just wasted an hour of your life. You're not going to believe anything happened. You're going to believe I'm a fake, I'm a fraud. You're going to want the guy off the stage with all the writing on his shirt. You think he's the real guy. Even though I've been doing this, you think that I'm the worst person? In fact, you demand a refund. You demand a refund. You won't leave until you get a refund. On the count of one, two, three, I don't want to wake back in the room. So, one more time. I know I think they said that we're the first sentences you guys have ever had. Did you enjoy the show overall? Awesome. Thank you. So, that's question number one. Question number two, which is the most important. We got to talk to our stars of the show. How did you enjoy your experience? It's fake. Excuse me? It's fake. What was fake? Well, see, I want money. How much did you pay to get in here? I don't remember. Just give me some. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do the majority here. What? Turn, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Look at your peers. What did you? What did you? How much did you enjoy your experience? Sorry? You didn't. You had no favorite part. You didn't enjoy any of this. No. Was there anything you enjoyed a little bit? No, it didn't work. What didn't work? So you were never hypnotized? No. Oh, hold on, let me try this. You, you, you look like you might be in the zone. How did you appreciate the past hour? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You didn't steal people's shoes. Would you ever do that in your life? Would you ever just steal people's shoes without permission? No, I don't miss you. Can you tell me why there are two boots up there? You didn't do that? No. Swear in your life? No. Swear in your mom's life? My no. mom's life. Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy your experience? It was fake. It was fake? What do you mean it's fake? Was that why those people were there? That's great. It's fake. You don't believe it? it did, you, did you enjoy it? Ma'am, did you enjoy it? No? None of you guys enjoyed it. This is so weird. So, here's the thing. This great bar, you see that right there? That great bar is called the truth bar. The truth bar. When you touch it, you'll get the truth. You guys say you don't remember being hypnotized. That wasn't real, right? If you go and touch that bar, if you go and touch that bar, the truth will come to you. Everything. Everything will be remembered. Come. Extend your dominant hand. Don't touch it yet. Don't touch it yet. Extend it. On the count of three, touch it. Watch their faces. Their faces will change. They'll remember everything. All mental, physical stress will be completely gone. And you'll remember everything. And you'll laugh out loud. The harder you try not to laugh, the funnier it becomes. The more you laugh. On the count of one, two, three. Remember everything right now. Just like that. Thank you guys so much. You can go back to your seats. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Wait a minute, guys. Guess what? You know the two right there? They're saying, where's John at? <laughs> What's wrong? Huh? You threw the baby and his name was John. Where'd he go? John's dead. <laughs> you get more emotional now. 
Are you saying? John wasn't working. He wasn't working. Sleep, sleep. And you realize John wasn't real, and you open your eyes, you feel like you're now upside down now. You feel really great. One, two, three, by the way. Give them all a hand, folks. Thank you so much for your time. If you want to get hit after this, how many times we go out there? But thank you, go hang out, have a great time. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, 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 thank